Well, I'm here with Ed, who has just won the James Dyson Award with his, tell me what it's called? Airdrop Irrigation System. Airdrop Irrigation System. Ed, tell us how it works. It looks really exciting. Yep. Well, basically, it's a solar-powered system. This is a solar panel at yep. the top. Mm -hmm. And uh, air is drawn through this turbine mm -hmm. underneath the ground. Right where uh, it's driven through a network of helical piping. So this is ground level? This is ground level, right. absolutely. And um, so the majority of the system is underground. Mm -hmm. uh, so once the air gets driven through the helical um, piping system, right. within the copper piping mm -hmm. is uh, copper bearing balls. Right. And the purpose of that is for the air to react with a lot of surface area. Right, So then making it condense. Making it condense, exactly. Because right. surrounding the piping, is soil mm -hmm. at a very low low temperature. I mean, the, the, the whole point of it is, is that it's creating water which is stored in the underground tank and then pumped through to the roots of plants. Right. And the roots of plants is the most efficient area to irrigate plants. So, so really, it it essentially is an underground irrigation system. That's, that's it. Aerodrop irrigation is for the irrigating of plants and for a response to drought conditions in agricultural communities. Because one of the big drivers for me was the devastation of the Murray-Darling area, mm -hmm. where a family friend, a farmer, was there. Um, he was an orange grower, grower, and he just told me of the devastation to the community there. Right. And it was all because of lack of water, lack of water in the soil, uh, lack of water, you know, surrounding that that agricultural system. And all this does is basically take water out of the air, a renewable source of water, an yep. abundant source of water, and feeds that back into the crops, the roots of crops where it belongs. So a, a full-scale version of this, how many litres a day do you think it would, would <laughs> well, produce? Thanks to the James Dyson Award, I'll be able to find that out. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the next step is definitely a large-scale prototype, right. getting it to the, you know large-scale agricultural size and to really push the limits to see how much water can be you know, created from the air. At the moment it's working at a small scale in my mum's backyard, you know, <laughs> it's, it's, it's creating water, the concept works, yeah. but I just want to take it to the next level. Ed, congratulations, it's oh, brilliant. Thanks very much, mate. Brilliant, yeah, cheers. thanks.